My name is Darrell. I'm from Santa Monica, California. And what part of Santa Monica did you grow up in? I grew up on the west side of Santa Monica. You could say west, south, south side, peak, peak, Pico area. Oh, 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 <laughs> fucked up. Start it over. Do, 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 from the top. All right, let's go. Ready? <clears throat> Where in Santa Monica did you grow up? I grew up in the Pico area, uh, right across the street from Santa Monica College, up on 19th and Pico. 19th and Pico? Yeah. Okay. Tell me about the area that you grew up in. I had the best of both worlds in Santa Monica. I grew up in a, a gang area. It was a kind of like gang populated. What gang? Uh, graveyard. Okay. Graveyard Crips. Uh, that was the area right there. And then also the Santa Monica Thresse gang. It was a Hispanic gang out there. Mm -hmm. Then you had your little cliques, you know, C-dubs. But it, it, it was definitely a gang populated area in Santa Monica. But like I said, I feel like I had the best of both worlds. You know, I grew up seeing something that could humble you in life. Then, you know, you see the, the better side of life. You know, Santa Monica College is right across the street. But for the most part, it was good. How do you mean best of both worlds? I feel like Santa Monica brings a lot of opportunity. The downside, you know, you, you had your gang members, you had your kids, your roughnecks. You know, that's pretty much everywhere you go. In Santa Monica, I'll say it wasn't at your face as much as if you were in L.A., Compton, South Central, you know, but you had it. So I got more of an opportunity to see the better side, you know, whether it was uh, going to a certain fire department. You definitely saw a better uh, future for yourself in Santa Monica, a better school district. How did the gangbanging culture uh, affect you? Were you <clears throat> ever a part of the Graveyard Crips? Well, you know, I, w I was definitely a resident. Um, I was I lived on the main block where they were from, you know. So um, as I moved to Santa Monica, I moved on Section 8 to 19th and Pico. Um, initially, my dad was going to get one on Wilshire. Something happened where we couldn't get that apartment on Wilshire in Section 8. So I actually moved. I remember as nighttime came, I see all these dudes outside. I'm like, what the heck is this? Like, what's going on? But um, so being right there, you you walk outside and you see these dudes, you know, every day, you bound to know your neighbors. You know what I'm saying? You bound to know your neighbors. Yeah. Did they ever want you to become a part of Graveyard? <clears throat> Man, I feel like just people took a liking into me. You know what I'm saying? I think think you know they took a liking into my character or whatever it was. So um, definitely, a, a individual gave me a nickname. You know, and then from there, it just kind of took off with me dabbling into that part of my teenage life. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Did it affect you in a negative way, a positive way? How would you say it affected you? <clears throat> I think it affected me definitely in a negative and positive way. In a negative sense, because when you game banging, you have enemies. Mm -hmm. You have distractions, you know, so you got to watch your back all the time. You got to watch when you go to the liquor store and then you're carrying a persona about yourself. You know, especially when you're young, you want to carry that macho, you're a tough persona. So I definitely fell into that when I could have been focusing on other things. It changed my life in a positive way just because it humbled me, you know, because you see certain things in life, then life forces you to calm down, especially in that kind of lifestyle. You yeah. see you see what you really want and you see what you don't want. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely say it, it brought out you know, a better version of myself, for sure. What was the craziest thing you've seen in the streets? Streets of Santa Monica, anywhere in Santa Monica? <clears throat> I'll say like the craziest thing I've seen or been through, you know, in the city. Uh, you know, I had a gun pulled out on me by my girl cousin. Um, I was hanging out around the corner from where I lived at. This dude pulled a gun out on me and uh, it was just, a, you know, words exchanged and uh, but no shots were fired, but that was definitely a dramatic moment. What made him do it? rumors you know people hearing certain things and um he thought i did something that i didn't do you know what i mean and then it was just one of those situations but i would say that's definitely the craziest things um you know you, 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 you had your fights getting killed or getting shot? um that's another thing i'll say game Bang gave you a good judge of character you know so i, I wasn't really I wasn't scared like I thought I was, you know, especially with the dude who was holding it. Uh, I wasn't scared as I thought I was, you know. I was more surprised than anything that he was trying to pull it out on me, you know, or pulled it out on me. Yeah. Was there anything you could have done to avoid that situation from happening? I mean, maybe a phone call sooner or something, uh, you know, to explain myself. But, you know, I felt like I didn't have to explain myself, you know. You should know me. If you grew up with me, you know me. You know I wouldn't do, you know what I mean? Do it certain right things. Now, where was he from? He he was from a, a, another side. He he was from another side in the area of Santa Monica. Oh. Yeah. 
what was the best lesson that you learned on the streets? <sighs> Man, stay out of trouble. Yeah, stay, so stay, stay out of trouble. For, the, stay for out those of trouble. youngsters yeah. that are looking at this video, how, how how would you go about doing that? How, how can you stay out of trouble if you're in a in an area that is surrounded by gangs? How do you avoid trouble if you're not you're around nothing but trouble? I feel like this, man. Uh, if you don't know yourself, because a lot of people don't know themselves until they go through life experiences, so just watch your mouth, because your mouth gonna get you in a lot of trouble. Watch your mouth, watch your ego, watch your pride, you know? So if you've got a bunch of guys around you and you know they can land you in some trouble, I'll just say steer the other way. Just be a good judge of character, you know? You can be cool and hang out with these guys every, not, not hang out, but just say hi and keep it, you know, keep it moving. Mm -hmm. But um, don't don't try to get caught up in a scene, man. Don't get caught up in an act. You know, you you probably you probably don't like game banging all day. You know what I'm saying? You you probably don't really like that all day. So you probably you probably want to go shoot some basketball. You might want to draw, go paint. You know, find what you're good at. You might like cooking. You know, just really go tap into what you're good at. You might like to exercise or something. So just go tap into it. Just keep doing it over and over. You know, so yeah. definitely. So what were you into that got you out of the streets? I'll definitely say, man, just like I said, just seeing something better, you know, in Santa Monica, you see that opportunity, you know, so I definitely, definitely had um, a different outlook when I was in the 11th grade than when I was in, you know, the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th grade, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I seen something different, especially my senior year, so my, 11, my junior year, I started getting into track and field, started playing sports, and uh, I joined the Fire Explorers, man, down in Compton. The career day came, and then the firefighters came to Santa Monica High School, and I asked, hey, man, how come we don't have a uh, Explorer post out here? You know, like, you know, keep kids like us out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? And um, he took a liking into me, man, and I, I just had better opportunities. You know, better opportunities came into my life, man. And then firefighting? Just, firefighting. I, I got to experience that. that. That kept you off of the block and out of the streets then? Yeah, for sure. I asked the chief, you know, how come you guys don't have an explorer post out of here, uh, out here? You know, he, he took a reason? liking into me. He took a liking into me. Um, I, I think it was more like, you know, they didn't have anyone who really wanted to volunteer at the time. Mm -hmm. or, or, you know, I, I really forget the answer because I know it wasn't no fundings or budgets, you know, yeah. not in Santa Monica. Yeah. But um, I think it was just a matter of just who, like, who would want to volunteer with, with, with these kids. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, because, the, you know, my fire captain who did it in Compton, it was all volunteer, you know, he coming on his weekends to do this. I, I end up uh, tapping into the fire department, man, even more, you know, he, he seen me, he took a liking into me, so I got into firefighting, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I was an intern over there, and then... Um, How many years did you spend doing it? I spent, I'll pay, man, man, probably six six years doing, doing firefighting because I went to Oregon, I went to Oregon, I fought fires out there. You know, I was a wildland firefighter out there. Did forestry firefighting. And then my beautiful girl was born, my daughter. So instead of just, you know, traveling, doing uh, seasonal work, I had to get a real job. So I felt, you know, something that's going to bring some good money to the table. And I can be around my daughter a lot, you know, every day. So uh, I end up driving buses. You know, I'm driving buses now for the city of Santa Monica. Everything that I'm doing still revolves around the city of Santa Monica. It's crazy how we just, how we grow up. And I think that's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, like you asked me earlier, if it's any advice I can give to somebody younger, make sure the friends you hanging out with ain't making you do something you don't want to do. Yeah. They not laughing at you, you know what I'm saying? For doing something <clears throat> that you don't feel comfortable with doing, yeah. or you just know it's not right. And why not firefight then? Because you wouldn't be able to have much time at home? <clears throat> no, I'm not gonna lie, man. I got discouraged, you know, along the process. Um, the physical part, it was no problem. It was a lot of with the testing. You know, I couldn't pass a uh, certain test. Yeah. You know, I, I felt, I felt the EMT test maybe, uh, yeah, I felt it twice. So the third time, I'm gonna go back. You know, I wanna go back and take it. You know what I'm saying? But um, I mean, right now, I, I'm cool. I definitely got discouraged though, you know, yeah. passing the test, the yeah. math part of it, the mechanical aptitude. So do you feel, do you feel like <clears throat> you still want to do firefighting as a career? Yeah, day? yeah, for sure. Part of me definitely does. Yes, okay. for sure. And you wouldn't be worried about the uh, all of the traumatic things that you have to see. You don't feel like that will 
take a toll on your mental? Right. No, nah, definitely not. Um, I was a fire explorer, like I mentioned, and uh, we went, you know, for those of who don't know what a fire explorer is, you participate in ride alongs. So you go on live calls and you get to see things. I done seen uh, DOAs, GSWs, uh, difficult. Oh, yeah, DOAs is definitely on arrival. Mm -hmm. GSW is gunshot wounds. And, um, you know, difficulties breathing. I seen a lady eyes. She couldn't breathe, man. They put the O2 on her, like the, the oxygen bottle, put cover her with the face mask. Dude, her eyes, they didn't fall out, but they popped out her eyes. Wow. Like the white part literally came out, bro. And I said, that, that got to me. That one got to me for some nights, I'm not gonna lie. But I think I could stomach it for sure, you know? Yeah. Since you, you grew up in Santa Monica, that was your upbringing. Um, how many years did you live in Santa Monica then? You said you moved to Santa Monica at 11, 10? Yeah, 10, for sure. And how many years did you live in Santa Monica for? Or do you still uh, live in Santa Monica? Nah, it was, uh, I lived in Santa Monica consistent, I'll say, I'll say eight years. 18, I moved back to LA, mm -hmm. uh, moved with my mom, we moved to LA. And then when I turned around, maybe 22, 23, moved back to Santa Monica with my, with my lady, mm -hmm. stayed with her in-laws, and then now I'm here. I got a new spot now. Outside of Santa Monica. Outside of Santa Monica. But um, I feel like I'm still with Santa Monica. You know, I, I work in the city, and that's why I feel like I never left or never moved. You know what I'm saying? Will I ever want to move, like, completely away? I don't know. Now, how's the city changed since you become <clears throat> uh, a young man? From, from, from being an adolescent to a young man, how has Santa Monica city changed? It changed a lot, man, just as far as in, um, <clears throat> like, the neighborhood, for one, so let's start there, that I lived in on 19th, it's, it's completely different. On 20th, completely different. You know, they, it used to be dark down that street. They put uh, street lights up. Mm -hmm. uh, the apartment I used to live in, completely different. Renovated, looks really nice. You know, yeah. um, quiet. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not. You don't see nobody outside. You know. You yeah. know. So um, it changed in that sense. They cleaned up a lot of the uh, gang activity. Then downtown Santa Monica, man, we used to hang out at the promenade a lot. Third Street Promenade. You know, it's so many homeless down there now, it's it's, it's crazy. Like, yeah. we used to walk the promenade, I never realized how good we had it back then, because there's a lot of homeless now, you know, and then it's a lot of like, you know, like drug addicts down there. Yeah. You know, so right you said now. they cleaned up the gang activity in Santa Monica, does that mean there's no more gang members in Santa Monica that live, live I would say there's the still, there's still small gang activity. Mm -hmm. There's still small gang activity, but not like it used to be. Not like it used to be, no, not at all. What do you think uh, transpired that change or inspired that change? Well, how, how do you think that change happened? From like being I said, such man, a prevalent gang area, right. from what you say, to not at all. Really. Yeah, I just feel like life really forces <clears throat> people to calm down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Things happen, man. It was, it was, uh, shit, wiretaps in the area. It was uh, like, and the shit, raids. You know what I mean? A lot of things was going on where. It just kind of calmed everything down. When do you feel like Santa Monica started to clean up and it started to become more of a, a safer neighborhood, or more of a quieter neighborhood? When do you feel like, yeah, when do you feel like those changes happened? Well, I'll say like 2015, mm. 2015. Mm. 2015, I was probably like three years after I graduated high school. I'll say it really just completely made that change, you know. Where everybody just move out of their neighborhood? <clears throat> A lot of people moved. A lot of people did move for sure. A lot of people moved out the neighborhood. A lot of people went to jail. Mm. You know, so that really calmed things down. What makes you proud for me from Santa Monica? Man, everything. Everything that I mentioned here today in this interview from, uh, you know, being a part of the streets and then being able to transition into a new lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, um, understanding and seeing, you know, the, the benefits of life. Man, you can really enjoy your the fruits of your labor. What are your best memories growing up Man, in Santa Monica? All of my childhood memories. All of them. Yeah. All of my childhood Anyone memories. Pops out <clears throat> I got a, I got a lot of good friends in Santa Monica, you know. Um, but the memories, I mean just going to the pool. Yeah. You know, getting in trouble up there. SMC. Just, yeah, SMC pool, Santa Monica pool, man, and then you just getting in trouble, just having fun though, you know. Yeah. No running right here. Yeah. And we running, you know, we jumping in doing cannonballs, no backflips off the diving board. We doing backflips, you know, just little kid things, man. Just having fun doing that. Um, they used to have this event called Teen Night. So if you was a teenager, you come and they warm up the pools at nighttime and then you got the pieces going and everything feeding you. That, um, you know, it used to be a program um, called Wildlife. And when you know, yeah, yeah, you know, wildlife. And then we went on summer camping trips with them. And even seeing those opportunities in Santa Monica, wildlife, you got these people, group of people who was volunteering to take care of kids after high school. 
Then they take us on summer trips. So when I seen them summer vacations that I had, I'm like, man, life is really good. Like, I'm not worrying about the Mexicans. I'm not worrying about, oh, I got to go do this and do that. Yeah. So always having that balance in life, I think is really important, man. Yeah. So I had that. You know, I got to experience nice things. You know, I thank Santa Monica for that. The yeah. little programs they had. We hungry going to school. The people from Wildlife, every late start. They taking us to Norms. They taking us to Denny's. Y'all get what y'all want. You know what I'm saying? So that was cool. Like, you actually got nice people out here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So uh, definitely my childhood, I'll say, was fun. Despite of all the getting in trouble, that shit was fun too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Do you think Santa Monica will ever be the type of neighborhood that you grew up in again? Where it's loud, there's a bunch of people that know each other, all the neighbors. You know, I think people. about that all the time. Oh, I, I, I really I really sit back and I think about that. Like, man, is it ever going to be like that again? I don't see it happening. No? I don't see it happening, man. It, it, it already wasn't, you know, something large. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was very, it was active, yeah. but I don't see it going back that way again. How are the dynamics <clears throat> as far as blacks, Mexicans, white people? Yeah, definitely. Like, okay, so... I wasn't born in Santa Monica, you know, like I said before, but you know, just being there at a young age, I heard a lot of history in Santa Monica, even still to this day, I was a lot of African Americans in Santa Monica, you know, but even just from what I seen already, it's, it's no black people on that block right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe like one or two, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's that, that's on that block. So I can imagine how it was back block. in the day. Yeah, on my old block. I can just imagine how it was just back in the day, yeah. you know, um, and even around the corner, like, you know, with some black people over there, it's not too many over there now, yeah. you know? So um, it definitely have changed. It, it, it's definitely changed just for me, just being right there, you know? You feel like that was a plan to, to get those people of color out of the neighborhood? <clears throat> out of the neighborhood that you grew up in? That's always the plan, right? Yeah. That's always the plan. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and just, you know, point the finger, man. Because people, it is the land of opportunity, man. If you're going to do something right, you going to do it right and, and, and it's going to hit. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to sell your house or if you don't want to buy property when you got the bag to do so, then you know what's going to happen. Somebody else going to come along and buy it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm not going to sit here and point the finger and blame the man on that. You know, it's just other people got a certain visions than other yeah. people, you know, yeah. or, or got more knowledge about certain things than other people. So do you plan on buying property in Santa Monica? Man, you know what? It's funny that you say that. Um, like even like a few years ago, it used to sound crazy to me, but I mean, I would love to, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it'll take a lot of just top ramen and noodles and just saving, you know what I'm saying? Cause I mean, we young, man, I'm 26. Yeah. If you really save something good for the next 10 years, something could happen, you know what I'm saying? You, you dabble in some cryptocurrencies or you never know what can happen, you know what I'm saying? But that, that's definitely part of my, my plan too, you know what I mean? Get something in Santa Monica, yeah. for sure. How soon do you want a property in Santa Monica? I want it like right now, right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's that's not gonna happen. So you know, like like I said, I, I can give myself ten to twenty years, and who who knows? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who knows? You never know. You know what I'm saying? But it's but it's definitely a goal that'll that I would love to see. You know what I mean? Checked off. Can you tell me the most valuable lesson that you learned in your life? Tap into what you believe into, and, and really believe it. No matter how cliche it sounds, focus on what you believe in. Listen to yourself and just yeah, continue to just grow, man. Every day you got an opportunity to grow. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Appreciate your time. Yeah, likewise, man. Likewise, G. Uh, yeah. Anything else you want to say to the camera? Man, you know, go ahead and uh, subscribe if y'all like this video, GV Local, man. Ah, that was probably better than last one. Oh, that's cool, man. I think that's cool.